Hi there, Miss Graham. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the cell cycle. Now this is your organizer number two, and you actually have a cell cycle drawing there on the left with matching. And I want you to fill these in, please, using this picture. And keep in mind, you can stop things and fill in and then move on, okay? So use this to help you fill in the picture. Now, let's talk about this picture just a second. I know in um, seventh grade you talked about the phases of mitosis, and we will be going over these in another day or two with a little bit more detail. We're going to do a lab looking at some slides of some living cells that are actually in these phases. But here we have the phases, and this entire part from the end of cytokinesis all the way around is called interphase, and a cell spends most of its life in interphase doing whatever the cell does, whether it's a blood cell or an amoeba or a skin cell, whatever it is, it spends most of its life in interphase, okay? A small portion of its life it spends in mitosis where it will divide if it is a cell that is um, ready to, to divide. So I want you to keep that in mind about your cell cycle, and I think the picture you have shows that pretty well. Okay, so let's look on the right-hand side of the page and look at some of these reminders. So number one, give three purposes of mitosis again for growth, repair, and asexual reproduction. And what triggers a cell to divide? Mostly cell size, because remember, small cells are better. If a cell gets too big, it doesn't become as efficient. So then it will um, divide. Um, and it occurs only in our somatic cells. That's your regular body cells. Think about mitosis, mitocells. Just your regular body cells are the ones who go through mitosis. And notice number four, it never occurs in brain cells. So brain cells never enter that mitotic phase. They never, you know, you're born with all you're going to have. Uh, we protect our cells and not do risky behaviors to damage our brain cells, uh, freshmen. Now, the end result of mitosis is two identical daughter cells. That's just what they're called. I, know that I had a child tell me one time that was sexist, but that's just what they're called. There's a mother cell. It divides into two identical daughter cells. And there's two actual division events that are going to take place. Uh, oh, here we have some daughter cells in this picture. So the two events are mitosis. That actually divides the nucleus and the nuclear material. And the other part is cytokinesis, and that divides the cytoplasm. And how can you remember this? I want you to remember, I want you to write these in capital letters, these letters, I-P-M-A-T-C. And that stands for interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. I-P-M-A-T-C. Okay? All right, now I want you to do the back of the page on your own. It has a reading passage, and then it has questions you answer, and then it has a set of matching that also comes from material you can get from this reading passage, please. And this will be turned in when you come back to class. Thank you.